This is live on the air, okay? I'm going to zoom in on the Earth in Photoshop. Can you see the Earth? Yep. Okay, I'm going to go to Image, Adjust, Levels, and I'm going to move the levels over here. And I'm going to bring the levels up. Uh-oh. What is that? Oh, wow. Yeah, wow. Why is there a square box around the Earth allegedly taken from the scientists on the moon in Apollo 17? And people wonder why I don't trust NASA. That's why I don't trust NASA. I mean, they're always out there saying, you know, you probably, you, everybody's trying to show you stuff from space and you, won't, you keep rejecting it. This is why I reject it. These guys are liars. So you're telling me that we could take pictures of Jupiter and Saturn, huge, massive planets, and now we're out going to Pluto, but we don't have one legitimate picture of the Earth from space that's not a composite? Really? There are great ideas undiscovered. Breakthroughs available to those who can remove one of truth's protective layers. It was all recorded on these telemetry tapes. So where is this hard evidence? I haven't uh, seen anything that indicates the telemetry data is even in existence. And as I said, even if we had it, we don't have the machines to play it back. But your, you, your own research has shown the telemetry data is missing. That's, that's right. Could this be true? Mankind's first interplanetary exploration and the original science data is missing? The paper failed to burn because it didn't have any oxygen, so how about something that has its own oxidizer, such as gunpowder? See this is a mixture of charcoal, sulfur, and potassium nitrate. When heated, the potassium nitrate gives us oxygen, which the sulfur and charcoal uses to burn. So I've got a little bit sitting in there, let's apply the laser goggles, and let's uh, light it off, first in the atmosphere, and then in the vacuum. Okay, as you can see, it produced lots of smoke and burned rather quickly. Most of the air is now gone. Let's see what happens. The gunpowder did not ignite. That's it. The gunpowder does not burn. When the laser's on it, but other than that, no, it doesn't change from one particle to the next. I can't do anything. It's essentially just vibrating on the ground right now.
Here's our flat earth with our magnetic center. This is the shoreline that we call Antarctica that surrounds our world. And here's my boat. I put my boat down and immediately the compass points north. If I want to circumnavigate, I want to head west or east, but we're going to go west right now. So I'm heading west and as you see, west keeps turning. So I have to keep going and this is how when you go west, you end up going all the way back to where you started from. Same thing for east. I go east. I keep having to turn because my compass keeps making me turn to go east. If I want to go dead reckon west, so this would be dead reckoning west, if you watch the compass, I'm no longer going west, I'm going south. Any straight line on the flat earth will eventually become south. And that is how you circumnavigate on the flat earth. Nobody can circumnavigate south because when you go south, you keep on going. North, and as I pass North Pole, I'm now going south, even though I'm going in the same straight line. Science is the same of that of a lens. Here's a simple example. 
the atmosphere really is like acting like a lens. Yes. Strangely enough, there is left in the world today an area as big as the United States that's never been seen by a human being. And that's beyond the pole on the other side of the South Pole from Middle America. And it's, uh, I think it's quite astonishing that there should be an area as big as that unexplored. This is a tremendous so there's a lot of adventure left down at the bottom of the world. <laughs> 